Good evening, everyone. It is Wednesday, I think. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Here. Sebastian is having some sweet potatoes for dinner. Um, unfortunately, we got a call from the infectious disease doctor and they want to take Sebastian's line out, his pick line. At first, it seemed like we were gonna be able to, was that too much in your mouth? Mom is not paying attention. Are you okay? No? You a little stressed? I stress you out? I'm sorry. You okay? You grinding your teeth because that was too much food or because you're cranky and tired? Eat too much food, okay, hold on. Here, give it to me. No, you want more? I thought it was too much. Can I see? Can you open your mouth? You got some stored up top there, chipmunk. <laughs> Hold on. Lately, Sebastian has been storing food up in the roof of his mouth. I don't blame him. He has a very high arched mouth. Also, by the way, a characteristic, a physical characteristic of his syndrome. Anyway, um, he's been storing food up there and I, and I don't like that because then his mouth gets a little too, uh, a little too full. And then these little strings, you know, on the sweet potatoes, I don't like that. One of them got stuck in his throat the other day and it was itching his throat and he started to choke because it was itching him. It felt really, really bad. Anyway, um, unfortunately, we got a call from the infectious disease doctor and they want to take his line out tomorrow. They said that if we leave it in, even though it's only for like two and a half, three weeks, there's still just too high of a risk for Sebastian to get an infection or for Sebastian to get a blood clot in his arm. Both of those things would postpone heart surgery. And at this time, it's really not a good idea to risk any type, any type of anything that would cause his heart surgery to have to be postponed. I couldn't think of the right words there, but so I'm kind of sad for him. I'm sad because I don't know what that's going to look like tomorrow. Uh, his line is stitched in. I don't think I ever really showed you guys what it looked like, the actual site. So if I can maybe do that tomorrow, I'll try to take a video. I don't want to make the nurse feel uncomfortable, so we'll see. But um, yeah, I know she has to like cut the stitches and then she has to like pull the line out. And I'm just nervous for him because I don't want him to be in pain. And then again, in, you know, three weeks when he goes in for heart surgery, they're going to have to prick him again and put another line in. I don't, they're not going to have to put another pick line in. Sebastian is getting a little lazy with his food today. I don't know if he's being lazy with his eating or if um, the sweet potatoes are just a little too itchy on his throat. But um, anyway, yeah, unfortunately, we have to take the pick line out tomorrow. The nurse is going to come to the house and do that. And the reason, Sebastian, the reason why I'm recording tonight right now while he's crabby, one second, is because I feel like a lot of people think that we just have it together all of the time. And like Sebastian's this perfect, happy little kid all the time. And honestly... He has his moments, especially when we're getting ready for bedtime and he doesn't want to get changed. He hates getting his clothes changed. Also, he didn't really nap today, so that's why he's crabby. But everybody always wants to see like a nighttime routine. This is what it's like every single night. He's just a typical toddler who's overtired and doesn't like getting their diaper and their clothes changed. So the only reason why I'm recording this is because... Again, we stay transparent on this channel and this is what bedtime really looks like for us. Um, I am sad. As I was saying before, he threw a temper tantrum and almost choked on a sweet potato. I'm sad that they have to take the line out for him tomorrow. However, keeping things on the bright side, Sebastian finally gets to take a fully submerged bath on Saturday. So we get the line pulled out at 12:30 in the afternoon tomorrow, and then they're going to put a little dressing on his arm that has to stay on and dry for 24 hours. But Saturday or even tomorrow night, he can take a big, nice, long bath, and I know he's going to love it. I wish I could record it for you guys. Maybe if I find his swim trunks, I'll record it. Um, I'll just put his swim trunks on and record a little snippet or something. But yeah, so it stinks that we have to 
get the line pulled out, but you're going to get to take a bath. He loves baths. What do you think? Side note, the pillow that he's laying on, it was one of his receiving blankets. <laughs> what? One of his receiving blankets when he was first born, we brought it home and Gio's grandma made a pillow out of it. You ready to sit up? You ready? We got to brush your teeth. You okay? All right. Goodness gracious. You got the hiccups now, huh? From all that crying and holding your breath. You want to brush your teeth? Can we? Don't do the bottom ones. <laughs> Don't bite it. You're tasting that toothpaste, huh? Don't grind your teeth, please. Here. Messy boy. Come on, we gotta do this side. Up here. Good boy. Open. Can't bite it. That's so funny. Can we do your tongue? Can you stick your tongue out? Up here. Can you stick your tongue out? Hey. Oh, lots of work. Can I do your tongue? Stick your tongue out. Your tongue. Your tongue. Your tongue. Up here. Stick your tongue out. <laughs> good boy. You're such a good kid. It's kind of hard to do while I hold you. I don't usually hold them while I do this. Up here. Good boy. <laughs> don't bite it. Look at that messy face. Oh my goodness. Let's clean you up. So anyway, yes, I am a little sad about the, the pick line thing, but it's okay. What are we going to do? This is Sebastian's seizure medication. Hopefully I can do this. Nope, the syringe is like air suction tight. Let's see, this one will work. I'm still holding him on my shoulder while trying to do this. <laughs> yeah, that's too much. Two and a half. Here we go. Okay, crabby boy. Oh, you got the major teeth grinders, huh? So this is a little tubey right down here. If you can see. I'm gonna put that right in there. Yeah, you wanna help? Oh. <laughs> that medication just went everywhere because the feeding pump clamp after the tube has been like used for, oh my goodness, too long. It starts to get hard and now you, ugh, I just, oh my God. <laughs> Sebastian, what happened? Tell me. Wow, one second for take two. All right, let's try this again. I'm sorry. You know, Sebastian, I know you're a big boy and you don't want to take naps. Mm -hmm. I know you don't want to take naps anymore, Sebastian, but if you did, the nights would be a lot less cranky. Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. I'm going to flush this medication through with five mLs of water as well. Just like that. And we are good. No seizures, hopefully. Do you just need some love? <laughs> oh, someone's tired. Mm, is it bedtime? Yeah, mama. All that yelling he does is a new thing. He's just like so tired from not sleeping during the day. He just starts yelling and throwing tantrums. <laughs> and then a minute later, he's like, I'm sorry. It's okay. You're just trying to communicate that you're frustrated, huh? It's the only way I know how, mom. You can fall asleep right on my, right on my shoulder there? <laughs> oh, big breath. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Now we just stay here and snuggle a little bit. Completely forget the fact that he just threw a total temper tantrum. That's okay. We're just going to forget about it, right? We're just going to forget about it. <laughs> I 
I have to make Sebastian some fresh milk for his feed tonight. Um, if you hear him crying in the background, please know that he is okay. I don't think anything is wrong. I think that he is a typical five-year-old child who doesn't want to nap anymore. So by the time bedtime rolls around, it is a you-know-what show. A, a crap show. I don't know. It's just, wow, we are just making a mess tonight. Oh, boy. I'm going to try. I'll try to take you guys in the basement where we um where we're sleeping the only reason really i haven't other than it being dirty and being a basement but the only reason i really haven't taken you guys down there is because uh it's really dark we don't, there's not a lot of lights down there like even during the day it's it's pretty dark in there so there's just no real good time to show you but i'll try I'll try to show you what we're working with there's like a 10 out of 10 chance that I spill this. Oh, look at that. I did not. Oh. <laughs> okay. I spoke too soon. It's just one of those nights. It's usually not this messy. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. See that? <laughs> oh, gosh. Sebastian, you're a mess and now mom is a mess. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what, tonight, it's just one of those nights where Sebastian, I love you, but I can't wait until you go to sleep and get some rest because you're cranky. And I am 100% going to take a bath in our new big jacuzzi tub, which by the way, freaks me out. I think for the first like, I don't even know, six months of living in a new place, taking um, like a shower or a bath, or using the toilet um, just freaks me out. Like it just, it's like a weird heebie-jeebie germ thing that I have. And I have bleached that bathtub, like bleached it three times and scrubbed it. Um, I don't think I will ever use the jacuzzi jets unless it gets like professionally cleaned, which even then I still may not. I feel like they're just a, like a place to carry mold. But anyway, yeah, I can't wait to take a bath tonight and just like relax. And hopefully Sebastian sleeps good because he needs it. I'm just going to prime this line right here. It takes the milk from the inside of the bag all the way down to the end of the line where it, um, where it clips into him so there's no air. So he doesn't get any like gas issues. All right, let's see if I can get you guys a good view of the basement. I don't know if I'll be able to. I have the flash on. So we'll see. Look at this nice, beautiful hole that the previous owners made, I assume, moving things out. Here is my treadmill. Oh, I think it's gonna be dark. Zeusy's cage where he sleeps. We had a little couch and TV. Remember the other day I brought up another, the pieces of our couch so we could sit upstairs? That's where they were before. This is actually a dance floor that the previous owner left and we just put our mattress on top of it. Sorry, it's so dark. This is literally the best I can do, but so we have Gio and my bed right there. And then Sebastian's bed is literally right next to us. He has stuffed animals and stuff on top of his bed. That's what that is. These are my stuffed animals. Okay, this is what we're working with. He's got his baby monitor there. I knew that was gonna wake him up. It's okay, it's mama. He's got his baby monitor there, his sound machine there. And then this one, I don't know if anyone has seen from our previous videos, it's a weighted, weighted lamb. I like to put it like next to him, so yeah, so he know like there's a little bit of pressure there. Now he's calm as a cucumber in a fruit market. By the way, all that crying earlier, I mean, he is very overtired, but he was trying to go to the bathroom. We later discovered. So yeah, that's a realistic bedtime routine. He's right, right here. So dark, I'm sorry, but he's right here. And then I sleep literally right here. So he's right next to me. I think he's gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Hopefully. Now that he's in bed, you wanna see a real realistic evening? <laughs> now I'm gonna clean up all of this stuff from the day. Much better. <laughs>
Can we just take a moment for the tub? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Sebastian, thank God, is still sleeping very peacefully. So hopefully it's a good night and then big day tomorrow with the pick line. So I'm gonna grab my bath really quick and we will see you guys tomorrow. Say good night, everybody.